everybody, it's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you for joining me for a flashcard video. Guys, today's card, very elegant, very nice, a really wonderful friendship card. I'm only going to be using one stamp set on the card today. Let's get started. The stamp set I'm going to be using on our flashcard today is Lovely Friends. Guys, this is a big time favorite of mine. You know how much I love great big sentiments. And I want to point out what you see here on the cover is not what you get. Can you see how ginormous those sentiments are? They are great. We've got some wonderful flowers. That's what we're going to be using today. And we're going to use the phrase, I just love you so much. So that's our stamp set. Our framelit set today is called Lovely Words. Now, I knew if I showed showed you the thin lid itself, it wouldn't make any sense because you can't tell what that says. We have three words in here. We have friend, lovely, and hugs, and that comes in the set. We're going to be using friend. And now let's go ahead and go over the cardstock you need for the flash card. I have chosen Pool Party as my card base. I have this cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, so that's going to be able to mail perfectly in our, uh, our medium-sized envelopes. My flashcard pieces are in basic black and whisper white. My basic black, this is cut four and a quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. My whisper white, that is four inches by two and a half inches. We're going to go ahead and start doing our stamping. I wanna get that done first. I'm going to start with my pool party ink pad and I'm going to bring in the brackets. I just, I thought these brackets gave just such a nice look. We're going to stamp this down here in the bottom right corner. This stamp set has a lot of sentiments in it, but I just love the, I just love you so much. We're gonna ink that up in our basic black ink. We're going to stamp that in the brackets. We're now ready to stamp the flowers. And I wanted to point out one thing with this stamp set. Do you notice the little um, kind of arrow that is built into this stamp set? That's what's going to allow me to do my two-step stamping and get it to line up just right. And uh, you can see I've actually uh, stamped a lot in pink, I guess, with this flower. I'm gonna bring my, um, cardstock back in and I am inking this up in pool party. This is the solid flower. And so I'm just going to stamp, but you notice I'm going to keep that arrow kind of moving, staying in the right direction there. That's again, as I said, that's going to help me with the two step stamp. So let's stamp about four of those. The layer on top, I decided to go Island Indigo. I wanted to go really nice, bold, isn't that great? And you can see that little arrow is helping me keep it right where I need it to be. Let's go ahead and fill these in. The center of that flower was just a little lonely. This uh, stamp set actually comes with this little dot. I'm going to ink that up in the basic black and let's fill in all of our flowers. Now, how about some leaves? I'm going to come in with Wild Wasabi. Now, this uh, stamp has a bit of a stem, and I just want to avoid that stem. So I'm just going to, you can see, I'm just kind of inking up just the bottom part of this so I can avoid that stem. And now, whoops, we can come in. We're just going to kind of fill in with some leaves. There we go. Now I'm gonna come back in with that pool party one more time. And there's a little stamp. I'm sure this is supposed to be on the inside of flowers, but I wanted to fill in. I just didn't want quite as much uh, white space there. So I'm just gonna use this wonderful little dotted stamp as just kind of a filler. All right, we've got that done. Guys, it's about to get crazy easy, all right? We're gonna bring in um, our flash card and our basic black. I'm going to take the uh, Friend Thinlet. I'm gonna lay that in the center of my basic black cardstock. Let's run that through the Big Shot machine. And we get this. Now, you can use this as is. You can see, maybe we could layer that on white. But I just want the word Friend. So I'm just gonna come in with my paper snips and I am simply going to cut out the word friend. Very simple. Now, we do have some kind of harsh edges here. I'm just gonna come in and just kind of round those off a little bit so they're not quite so harsh. We're gonna do that on both ends here. Now I'm going to take uh, my stamped image. We're gonna cover up that hole that we have right there. We obviously don't want that to show. I have got one of our tea lace doilies and I simply cut it in half. Very simple. Let's go ahead and put some snail here on the back of my uh, stamped image, and I'm just going to kind of center up that doily. 
to adhere the word friend, I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet, and then um, I have just a sponge. This is my little glue sponge. You notice I keep it here in kind of an airtight container so I can work with it. And this is one of my favorite ways to adhere these little delicate um, thinlets because they can be a little tricky. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of my multi-purpose glue. I'm gonna get it there on my sponge and tap, tap, tap. Let's get that glue on there. I'm going to now bring in my focal image and I can just adhere that down. Isn't that awesome? It goes on so easy. Just a little sponge, that's all we're gonna need. Guys, let's go ahead and work on our card front. I wanted my card front to have a little texture, so I have the brand new garden trellis embossing folder. I am simply going to place that inside, and I can just fold my cardstock right under. Stampin' Up! has actually designed this folder so that it can kind of fold right under. Whoop, we're gonna run that through the Big Shot, and look at that, it's such a nice, deep texture. I love it. Let me go ahead and bring my focal image in. You can see I've put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of that, because I just thought it needed some dimension. And I'm going to bring this kind of far over here to the left. And again, we've got that doily, so we want everything to fit on there. Before I press it down, I want to make sure I'm good and straight. I think I need to lift that just a tiny bit. And when we're happy with it, we can press it down. Guys, that is such a fast and wonderful little flashcard. I do love how this card turned out. I love how elegant it is. And let me tell you, I really loved how the lovely words thinlets, you kind of get a double dip with it. You can use it as the negative or you can use it as the positive. And either way, you've got a really wonderful little uh, cutout framelit. Love it. Now listen, if you'd like to see more information on today's card, maybe get a close up of the pictures or something for your stamping, head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the July 21st, 2017 blog post. I'll have photos there. And then if you need any of the supplies that I used on the card, not a problem. Just click on one of the pictures in the supply list. It's going to take you right to my online store. You can order what you need. And if you love the idea of flashcards, but you aren't in love with the idea of cutting all that cardstock, not a problem. There at simplysimplestamping.com, just look in the upper menu bar for flashcards to go. Let me tell you, this is such a great way to get your flashcards without all the work. I'll have everything cut and scored all your card bases. You're going to have your flashcards, your flashcard 2.0, your layering pieces, everything you need, plus 40 envelopes. So you're going to have everything to create 40 cards in a flash. And you can order those right there at simplysimplestamping.com. Well guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's card. If you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up. It makes me uh, happy and it lets me know what you like and what you want to see more of. Be sure to subscribe to the channel as well and we'll see you guys over at simplysimplestamping.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.